In this video, we're going to look at our fourth operation on a function, and that is to divide functions. Dividing functions, we use the notation f over g of x, which simply means take f of x and divide it by whatever g of x is. Now, with numbers, this simply means we have to evaluate both functions. We'll get two results, and then we will divide the results. With variables, this is even easier because we just have to divide the two functions together. And as always, as we do this, we need to make sure we use parentheses. Not as important with division and addition, but it does make a big difference with subtraction and multiplication. And so just out of good habits, we'll do it always. However, with fractions, we have to beware of the domain. Remember, we talked about domain with fractions. The denominator cannot be 0 or it's undefined which means we'll have to look at the denominator function and say that denominator is not equal to 0 and clarify that. So let's see what we have for this first example. In this first example, we have f of x is x minus 4, g of x is x squared minus 6x plus 8. We're asked to find f over g of negative 2, which really means find f of negative 2 and divide by whatever g of negative 2 is. So let's find f of negative 2. Well, that simply means plug negative 2 into the variable of in the f function. So it's x minus 4, now we have negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6. We still have to find the g of negative 2, which means we're going to plug negative 2 into the g function, replacing the variables with negative 2. We have negative 2 squared minus 6 times negative 2 plus 8. Squaring and multiplying gives us 4 plus 12 plus 8. Adding it all together gives us 24. This function asked us to divide. So we need to divide f of negative 2, which is the negative 6, divide by the g of negative 2, which is 24. Notice the denominator is not 0. That's important. The denominator cannot be 0. We can reduce this fraction. Dividing both by 6 gives us negative 1 fourth, and we now have the quotient of the two functions. Let's try this again using just a variable x. If we have f of x equals x squared minus 5x and g of x equals x minus 5, and we're asked to find f over g of x. Well, what this really means is find f of x and put it over whatever g of x is, and then simplify. Well, what is f of x? f of x is x squared minus 5x. And we're going to put that over whatever g of x is. Well, g of x is x minus 5. And we now have a fraction that we can simplify and reduce. Remember, when reducing fractions, we cannot reduce if there's any adding or subtracting without factoring first. Do not, this is bad, do not cross off the 5's and the X's. That's bad. Factor first. In the numerator, you see a greatest common factor of X, so we have X minus 5 over X minus 5. And now we do see, hey, those X minus 5's divide out quite nicely, and we're just left with simple X. However, we have to be careful of something with fractions, the domain, the denominator cannot be 0, which means in my original problem, that denominator, x minus 5, cannot be 0. Cannot be 0. So if I add 5 to both sides, we find out x cannot be equal to 5. 
That's the domain to be aware of. That means our solution for the quotient will always be x as long as x is never 5 because that won't work in this function. The denominator cannot be 0 when we're dividing fractions. Other than that, really simple and straightforward dividing functions with a number, evaluate both and then divide the results with variables, divide the functions together and simplify.